So we've got a question here which um, is involving uh, travelling in France and she's got a road sign that she's seeing and it's got some uh, numbers on that we need to obviously look at carefully because uh, that's going to be the information that we're going to use in this question. So it's saying work out the distance between Lambal and Montserban on the N12. So we've got to kind of imagine what's going on here. We're coming to a junction and we can go that way to Montauban and Rans and we can go that way to Lambal. It wants the distance between Lambal and Montauban. So Lambal over here, Montauban over there. So the signpost is saying it's 20 kilometers that way and it's going to be to Montauban uh, 28 kilometers that way. So we've got a total distance between the two of them of 48 kilometers. The next part of the question uh, asks us to think about uh, she's going to run in the end or run, I'm not quite sure how you say that, uh, on the N12. She stops driving 10 miles from the road sign. Well we've got to remember that when we see a question involving a mix of units the original signpost is in kilometers uh, over in France uh, they use kilometers rather than miles on their signs and here we've got miles. As soon as we see that, it's really telling us that we need to convert between the different units. So we need to remember some facts. They don't give us these, uh, we've got to learn them. So lots of facts about miles and kilometres. We either remember that 5 miles is equal to 8 kilometres, or we say that 1 mile is approximately 1.6 kilometres. Now, quite often in these exam questions, this is the fact that is quicker to use. And it happens in this case because they told us in the information that we would work with 10 miles, then we should be able to quickly see that 5 miles is 8, 10 miles must be double that, so 10 miles is 16 kilometres. Again, if we'd have used the basic fact of 1 mile being 1.6 kilometres, then we would have done. 10 miles times the 1.6, which is also 16, it shouldn't be any different, should it? So she stopped driving 10 miles from the road sign. So in other words, she's gone 10 miles that way, and the same as 16 kilometres. Now the signpost said that for going to Rons, it was going to be 60 kilometres. So she's gone 16 kilometres so far, so we're going to have to do 60 take away 16 which will leave us with 34. So all right well we can do a check and add back. 4 6 is a 10 carry the 1 3 1 no so we made a slight mistake there. Borrow a 10 so 10 take away 6 is 4 5 take away 1 is also 4. So the final answer will be 44 kilometers.